desperation with citrus greening disease. Our local citrus growers say they are finally getting a little bit of good news. With the largest news team on the Treasure Coast, News Channel 5's Ashley Walters explains how four counties of growers are getting a little relief. Barbara Ambrose is a bit of an artist at Hill Groves. I'm constantly reading the latest stuff. They go all over the world. And I'll be excited about some places that they are going. She's packed fruit baskets for 13 years. This year, she's noticed something special. And they are real sweet and juicy. And the red orange, the red navels are excellent. Barbara's on to something. Growers from Martin County through Brevard say the grapefruits are great. It actually demonstrates a lot of hope for the future of the, the industry. President Alex Brown says the healthy crop of grapefruits is welcome news. To date, $200 million has been spent trying to solve unprecedented canker and citrus greening issues. Growers think the season's crop is better with a combination of Mother Nature and a better understanding of how to nourish plants as they wait for a solution. Quality of the fruit that's being produced this season uh, is capable in a post greening era, which I think is a big deal. Growers say this is the best crop they've seen in about five years. The fruit is sweeter, it's juicier, and the skin is even thinner. So far this season, the pack out rates that growers and packing houses are having. Uh, it's excellent. It's way up versus last year. Doug Bornique with the Indian River Citrus League says that's good for the businesses and their employees. When you have your investment on a limb of a tree, this industry is not for the faint of heart. But the true test comes now as international shipments pick up. Yes, after Thanksgiving, we'll be wide open. In Vero Beach, Ashley Walters, WPTV News Channel 5.